this is the pressure relief drain for your water heater and it's supposed to be between three inches that's about three inches between three and six okay that's one 90 degree elbow right there about knee high to me knee high to a short man okay so we come in here because this is the water heater video in case you haven't guessed So that's about here. That's about here. So okay, that's 190 degree, 290 degrees, 390 degrees, 490 degrees, 590 degrees. You got 590 degree bends on your pressure relief valve, and that's the maximum number, and it's not more than the maximum number of bends that you can have. So that's a good thing. Yay! This is your tankless water heater. Runs and runs and runs. Alright. A couple interesting things about this is your gas is bonded here. Your gas is bonded here, and that would be your second bonding for your electrical as well. Okay, we have a sediment trap. This is fine. Can you believe this? We got a current use manual, and this is your thermostat right here. And it says, you know, check your instructions. But basically, it's 120 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Well, we don't have to have. It'd be nice if you had one, but we do not have to have a safety pan for a tankless water heater. Safety pans are for water heater tanks. This is tankless. However, the city of Dallas, and we're not in Dallas exactly, and the International Residential Code, they say that you should have an air gap on the pressure relief valve inside the same room as the water heater. That's what they say. They wrote that up. So if you had an air gap, then you would have a safety pan here to go out. The only way to do that and the only way to meet that requirement would be to put a safety pan in here. So you're either not meeting that requirement or you're putting a safety pan in. You know, one way or the next. I don't know. Now over here, we get up underneath here. See this little black screen right here? He gets serviced once a year. And, you know, we're supposed to service our water heaters once a year, all of us, and we never do. But this water heater is like a sports car. All right? If you want this water heater to last for seven years, well then you can just forget about that. But if you want it to last for 15 years, you'll service this every year. Because these aren't, any, you know, it's called a return on your investment. These are not inexpensive water heaters. So you might want to think about servicing that. There's a screen inside of there. Don't just open that up. You've got to isolate these things. You've got to read the, um, um, <laughs> You gotta go into YouTube and find out how to do it and have somebody walk you through this. So you see all this blue pipe dope? That's good. We want pipe dope on our connections. And sometimes you can use yellow tape on our connections. But see this white tape right here? That's for water connections. You'll probably never have a problem with it. I do it in my house. But see that white right there? That white tape was not approved for a gas connection. And while we're talking about gas, see this red tape right here? That means that the installer didn't take it off, he just bolted it in. It probably makes hot water, we're going to find out in a little bit. We're going to find out if it makes hot water or not. But this is a sports car, remember that you got to service a lot, okay? Well, this is a sports car. It's supposed to be dialed in with a nanometer, so it would operate at its peak efficiency. And it might be operating at its peak efficiency by accident, but we don't know that because it wasn't dialed in. This installation wasn't complete. Plumber was just kind of in a hurry. I mean, you know, wanted to go to the beer store. I don't blame him. I drink beer too sometimes. But not before I die, take my manometer out of my truck. He probably doesn't even have one in his truck. I don't know. I don't know that. That's just be quiet. But that's what that's about. So what did we learn? We learned that we've got white tape on our gas connections and that the gas connection wasn't dialed in, dialed in with a manometer. Manometer. I hope I got that right. It'll be right in the report. And everything else is just coincidental. It's just letting you know that we were here together looking at this thing. And this is where you change the thermostat. This is where you change the temperature.